So what do we have in store for you today? Well, today I'm being joined by Case Hollander, who you guys will have seen in other videos. He's our European Technical Service Coordinator. And Case, welcome. I believe you're turning the tables on me today. Indeed, Rich. The tide has turned today. Now I'm going to shoot some questions your side. Uh, I actually would like to talk on build primers. We all know we have a few build primers in, uh, in our range. Um, and I actually would like to hear the professional's opinion on when to choose which build primer. Is there like a lot of change in durability or does it require a different approach? Um, what are the different characteristics about the build primers? Can you maybe highlight a bit on that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great question, actually, because it's it's all about, I think, anyone from the outside. And I, I think I understand where this question's coming from, because you see a huge number of of primers. Right. And you go, well, which which do I use? Where do I use it? So probably the thing to talk to do is the functionality of a, of a build primer. So because we have a build primer and we have an undercoat primer. So if you think of a scheme, I'm, I'm going to use my hands case a lot, but we're, we've got a layer here. So we've got a substrate. We've got a, a, a primer on the substrate. We've got our filler and then we're going into our top coat systems and we're needing to seal that filler down to it's a filler is porous. So the build primer is there twofold, one to seal the epoxy surface of the of the the filler filler system. But, yeah. Yeah, but also to to help take away any small undulations as well. And this is probably the important one. So now, that's where build is coming from, basically. Exactly. Yeah. So think of build as thicknesses. You know, this this build compared to this build, you know, one has a greater build than the other. So to put it really simply, and this this is me flying by the seat of my pants away from the data sheet is there's this really easy divisible method. Certainly, if I pick uh, all grip is my system, uh, obviously in international, you've got 820, those sort of primers. But let's look at all grip where you have ultra build, high build. Um, the interesting thing is ultra build after sanding, you're looking at about 500 microns, roughly. Don't quote me on this. This is a really easy mathematical thing to do. So you say you have 500 microns of product where high build is 250. So you can see already that ultra build will take away greater deviation than than high build. Is that, that making sense? Yeah, definitely. So if you do this really easy division in your head and it will make sense, if you divide by two each time, so if we start with um, ultra build at 500 microns, high build at 250, 545, which is our, um, undercoat, our primer. undercoat primer, is about one, 125 and then half again would give you your thickness of top coat. So what you're really doing is you have this choice of, of primer and, and thickness to put. So for instance, if you were going top coat um and it was really good and you wanted to do a new top coat you may only need to use the undercoat because there's there's no scratch in there or or imperfections whereas if you've got deviations you might go well actually we need a little bit of build primer on there to take away the the imperfections and of course mm -hmm. if you're over if you're over 500 microns of deviation that your um ultra build can take care of then you're into filling and fairing so the, the choices, I guess, are there for you to choose what primer is most suitable for the substrate that you're that you're painting. But think of it in thickness. So ultra build, 500 microns, rough calculation again, don't quote me. High build, 250, 545, 125. And your top coat, it, uh, I think we recommend it between 50 and 75. But in this equation, roughly, roughly 60. Dividing by half is a really quick and easy way of of working it out. And and does then that that higher film build also have an impact on the final durability of the system? Again, yeah, a good question because I think this is where it all gets complicated. But you can think about um, post curing. Do you need to post cure the product? Is is the does the thicker product sink back and cause you issues? So. All of our products are tested and trialed and and, you know, do the job that they're intended to do. But I think um, what you need to be careful of is not using some of these products in the range. 
So if you miss out a high build sealing your filler and you put an undercoat straight on top of your filler, then you yeah. could have a problem that the that the solvents are absorbed into the filler. So there's probably a lot more to it. And I know you just wanted you never get brief with me. You know that. But mm. you wanted a quick answer. But that that's why there there are different choices. There's this stepped build, if you like, of the product. Well, it's a good approach. I like that uh, visualization, so to say. And I think, uh, you know, we're talking about primers, but in case this is everywhere in our range. And I think the guys need to reach out to their local distributor, TSR, whoever. It's the reason we have so many products are to give you choice. And, uh, yep. you know, that you, you have this good, better, best. There, there's a, a best system. There's a good system. But the best system may not suit your particular application need. So it isn't one product does all. That would be easy. But we are here to advise you if you, you know, you need further info. Tools in the toolbox, so to say. Yeah. Well, if, if people want, they can uh, send in a few questions in the, in the hyperlink and uh, we can go more in depth on the next video. Um, well, these were the questions that we received on Build Primus uh, so far, Rich. So thank you for explaining. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for turning the tables, I think. So. <laughs> Where does that leave us? So for me, thank thank you all for joining us uh, on another Yacht Coffee and Coatings chat. To find out more on the subjects we've already said, uh, contact your local TSR or distributor. There's also allgrip.com or yachtpaint.com. But make sure that you guys follow us on social media for more tips and tricks. We'll see you again in a couple of weeks and take care. Cheers.